Are cats and dogs able to see spirits? Science has verified that they can see frequencies we humans cannot see. I've already told you that even cameras can see pick up frequencies that we can't. And we've seen that many a times, but let's talk about these animals now. I first had experience where my cat would start suddenly stare at a spot on the wall and not look away for an extended period of time. Keep in mind there was no sound coming from that, from what I heard anyway, and no insect or other critter on the spot he stared at. It was very chilling. I later came to learn of the theory that they are able to see things of the spirit world. Whether there is any truth to this, we may never know, but it is cause for reflections as to what these awesome creatures may be capable of seeing. This is according to Waking Times. It was recently brought to my attention that even mainstream science recognizes cats, dogs, and other animals can see frequencies humans cannot. After reading about it a little, it makes sense scientifically in a separate way from spirituality. It's simple, really. The scientific explanation is that cats and dogs can see UV light and a few other rays which human retinas don't have the ability to see. Let's remember cats can see in the dark much well, much better than we can. Now, it was previously believed that all mammals had similar eyes to humans incapable of seeing UV rays, but scientific evidence suggests many mammals can. A study conducted a few years ago by biologists at City University London in the UK provided evidence for this differential in sight between species. According to Pet MD, quote, have you ever felt that your cat or dog can see something you don't? Well, maybe you may be right. According to a new study, cats, dogs, and other mammals, and I'm going to talk to you about the donkey in the Old Testament, and other mammals are thought to see in ultraviolet light, which opens up a whole different world than the one we see, the study explains. Let me just say it here so I don't forget. Remember in the Old Testament, when one of those uh, magicians that was uh, soothsayers that was supposed to say something against Israel, and uh, the donkey stopped because he saw something on the path. And this, um, I forget his, na his name, anyway, but uh, he started pushing the donkey, kicking the donkey, saying, go, go, go. And the donkey turned around. He wouldn't go. He wouldn't budge. And he turned around and he spoke to the man in a human voice, saying, don't you understand that I see something there and that's why I'm not going in order to protect you? So the, do the, the donkey turned and spoke to him in a human voice, uh, confirming to him that he saw something there. So obviously they can see something that humans can't. That was, of course, a miracle. Now we don't know if the donkey actually spoke in a human voice, or maybe the donkey was, uh, you know, uh, doing what donkeys do, and perhaps the human heard him uh, in what he meant to say. I don't know. But anyway, we know that the donkey had seen something in front of him. That's why he, but he wouldn't, uh, he would not move. Now going back to this, according to Pet MD. Uh, the cats and dogs can see uh, something we don't. The ultraviolet light is the wavelength beyond the visible light from red to violet that humans can see. Humans have a lens that blocks UV from reaching the retina. It was previously thought that most mammals have lenses similar to humans. Scientists studied the lenses of dead mammals, including dogs, cats, monkeys, pandas, hedgehogs, and ferrets, by researching how much light passes through the lens to reach the retina. They concluded that some mammals previously thought not to be able to see UV actually can see UV. However, I believe there is something more to this phenomenon that delves into the metaphysical realm. My little sister and I have had experiences where our cats see things that aren't there. They bat at the air with their paws, they meow, they hiss, they make strange noises at things that we cannot see. The most profound time it occurred was right after my grandfather passed. Our cat named Double Stuff was batting at the air, meowing very strangely and chasing something around the room, trying to jump at it in the air, looking at this thing on the ceiling. It was almost as if some spirit or entity was floating around on the ceiling and only the cat could see it. There was, uh, th then a few weeks ago, my sister experienced seeing shadow people a phenomenon commonly reported by people who suffer from sleep paralysis. 
And as she saw these shadow entities around the house at night, given that it was not an illusion, the cat started acting strange and scared. It meowed, hissed, did the same things it did before, but in a scared way, not bewildered and interested. Do you feel like some other entities exist around us, just as ultraviolet rays exist around us that we cannot perceive, and only certain animals are perhaps even only sometimes aware of them? I certainly do from my experience. It's by Cassius Methyl on Waking Times, and it's on Bedded Reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.